Hi! My name is Owen. I hope you are doing great. Right now, I'm with my friends at the beach. And I was wondering... What's the relationship between the position of the sun and my shadow? As we all know, the position of the sun affects the size of my shadow. A person or object blocks more light when the sun is low in the sky, more blocked light, makes shadows longer. And less light is blocked when the sun is high in the sky, this makes shadows shorter. This phenomenon can be easily explained with the concept of angles. To add or subtract angles, you just add or subtract the angles degrees. You can think of adding angles, as putting two or more pizza slices next to each other with their pointy ends together. Subtracting angles is like, starting with some pizza and taking a piece away. When an angle is decomposed into two or more non-overlapping angle parts, the size of the whole angle equals the sum of the parts. For example, in the following circle, the angle Y is E, has a measure of 40 degrees. Angle X a Y, measures 30 degrees. And angle W at X, measures 50 degrees. We can say, that, the result of adding all these angles should be the angle called, W is E. So, 40 degrees, plus 30 degrees, plus 50 degrees, is equal to, 120 degrees. Now, what if I ask you the following? What is the difference of these two angles? What would be your answer? Well, we just need to subtract angle, PCR, and, angle QCR. The answer is, 60 degrees. Also, we can use these concepts in real world situations. For example, Kevin's kite makes an angle of 35 degrees with the ground. And Anne's kite makes an angle of 27 degrees with the ground. What is the difference of the two angles? We just need to subtract both angles. The answer is, 8 degrees. Interesting right? So, what do you say? Can you continue recognizing angles in real world situations? Just remember the general rules. Practice and you will see that you will be better at it. Well, I have to go now. Bye, and see you next time.